Creating an animated action or animated pose using the IMVU Studio Toolkit is similar to creating a static pose. So first thing we need to do is make sure that we are using the default scene. So from the File menu, New, General. This just resets everything so that we are using the basics. Don't save, and that'll reset. Next, we want to go into the View menu and the sidebar, which is where the tools live. So click on that. We have the sidebar, and then we have the IMVU Studio Toolkit tab. So click on that, and we get access to all the tools. So for an animated pose, we want the animation tool. So click on that, and we'll get all the properties. And all we need to do here is click on the append animation file. So we don't need to do anything in the 3D view other than resetting it from the file menu. So click on that and it'll drop in the parts that we need. So what we have is an avatar it represents both male and female because they use the same skeleton. So it's just showing the female mesh at the moment. We have the avatar surrounded by all these shapes that control different aspects of the avatar skeleton. So if we grab the hand, press the G key, we can use these to move an arm or a leg or the rest of the torso. So just press escape to reset. And the principle basically is to manipulate these control points to create a pose that's then baked into the timeline to create a static keyframe. And then we have several of these, which across the timeline creates our animation. So we have one pose, two pose, three poses to create a sequence that creates the sense of movement. So let's create one. Before we do, Make sure we enable auto key. This will drop in the keyframes as we work. So click to enable, and then we can just pose. So let's just do something simple. G to move, R to rotate. So G to move, R to rotate. So we're selecting each of these control points and creating a very simple pose. So the foot and as we work we can see that as we pose it's dropping in keyframes into the timeline. So that's one pose. Insert our second pose. We need to move this blue timeline marker. Just click drag, move that to frame five. We can reset the pose. So we can press the reset button. That resets. And then we need to do the opposite. So grab, rotate, G, rotate, watch out for the elbows collapsing, G, rotate. So what we have is a second pose. So if we click drag and scrub the marker, if we scrub that back and forth, we get a sense of our animation. But we need to create a final reset pose to loop it. So move the frame marker to frame 10, 
reset the pose. And then what we want to do here is move the timeline marker to frame one. We need to reset this leg. So pose, clear transform, all. That resets that back to the beginning. So what we need to do is copy this pose from frame one to frame 10. So select all. That selects all the control points. Pose, copy pose. That copies the pose. In the timeline, we need to move the marker from frame 1 to frame 10. And then back in the Pose menu, we want to Paste Pose. Pose, Paste Pose. So if we scrub this back and forth now, we have our cycling or repeating sequence. What we can also do is manually insert a keyframe for all the control elements to make sure that we are overriding the defaults. So select all and then press the add key button and this will create markers for all these other channels. Each one of these a channel. It'll drop a marker for each of those. So that is our completed sequence. So if we set the animation length, so our frames, our sequence is 10 frames long. So click type 10, press the space bar, and that just loops our sequence. To stop, just press the space bar again or press escape. So before we export, file, save as. We have to save the file before we export. Toolkit animated pose. Animation pose one, save as, and then to export, set a file, export FBX as we would normally do. We don't need to do this anymore. All we need to do is click on the export tools and the export button. So that's our sequence. Export and it'll do its thing and create our FBX, which we then just need to import into Studio. So, with Studio open, we need to create a new project and we're going to derive from the empty mood for this because it's much more straightforward to use. So, that's 10,945,930. So we're searching by PID. Search, there is the item, select, and then down at the bottom, just derive. That's the avatar. So all we need to do now, import the FBX. So click on the button, import FBX, find our file. Toolkit Animation Pose, and then just click Open. Open. It'll go through the import process, so that's what the preview is. That's what it's found. So Setup FBX. This is OK. No materials. 
found our animation, 10 frames, review, so that's what it's going to bring in, import. So it's brought in our sequence, so we need to switch to component, actions, we need to create an action, so click on the plus button. That's our new action, we now need to edit the properties. So we want this to play all the time, so stance.idle, uppercase i, it's case sensitive. Then ensembles, the plus button, get the pop-up. And in asset, if we click the drop down, we should have our animation, and we do. So there's the sequence. Set the duration, frame one start, frame 10 end. I'm going to loop this infinitely, so that's zero. Replace, enable, disable gaze, that's optional. Then apply, and then preview, and that plays our sequence. Running on the spot. Obviously the next thing to do would be to save the file and then upload to the catalog. Now that is our animated pose created in Blender using the IMVU Studio Toolkit.